NBA fans. Let's get into this one right here. Okay. Let's talk about LeBron and his son, Bronny. They're going to hold the NBA hostage this summer. Okay. <laughs> we already know what LeBron told us. That if he doesn't get an extension, he's probably going to leave the Lakers. And that he's looking to play with his son, who already declared for the draft. So, look, before I get into this, look, I just want to say I knew YouTube was going to shadow ban um, my videos, and I knew they was going to shadow ban, of course, the video where I talked about ESPN and Fox. They're both owned by Disney, okay? So you really have no choice. And you now you know why LeBron is either number one or either number two, okay? All this stuff that's still coming out about LeBron, um, and they're not talking about the PEDs, it, it just goes to show you now what's going on. Yes, Disney owns both Fox and ESPN. So you really don't have no choice in the fact of the matter, you know what I'm saying? You don't have no 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 choice. You don't have no diver diversity in nothing. So, and a lot of people think that, you know, I heard a lot of people say this, that the NBA is going to leave ESPN. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Where would they go? Why would the NBA leave ESPN? They have nowhere to go. They're not going to go to NBC. They're not going to go to NBC because, again, Fox is owned by Disney. ESPN is owned by Disney. So you have Disney. They own ABC, too. So, look, they run the NBA. Nobody can run the NBA like Disney. Okay? You, you can't take it to... Where are you going to take it to? You can't take it to NBC. They don't have that type of coverage that Disney has by owning Fox, ABC, and ESPN. You, you just don't have it. So... Let's get into this right here. And the NBA has turned into the biggest circus of all time. Okay. And it's a reason why. Number one reason, the NBA cannot sell itself based on its play. Okay. <laughs> it can't. It can't. Okay. One, because they got the face of the league, which is LeBron, and he done backed away a lot of fans throughout the years out the back door and out of the NBA audience. Okay. Most of your 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 uh fans these days aren't real fans of the NBA. They're just casuals. I'm talking about at the games. Okay. A lot of these people are going on corporate experiences and writing all these games off on corporate accounts, okay? These aren't blue collar, hard working fans like back in the um, like like it had always been, you know, in the sixties, the seventies, the eighties, the nineties, stuff like that. It's, it's not the same same fan base. Um, number two reason why the NBA is not selling because they're getting rid of all the American players, just like they did in baseball. So before we get into what I'm going to talk about, this is what you're going to look forward to in these next two, three years. Um, the same thing baseball did to keep baseball alive. So by the time about mm, the 2000s came, they had already brought in so many international players, especially Latino players, which I don't have a problem with. OK, if you can play, you can play. But to get rid of American players, especially the black players who still own half the records in the MLB after white people had an 80-year head start. But to get rid of the black players, the majority of them, and act like they were better than some of these Latino players is a lie. <laughs> it's just a lie. But they did that because they could put them in a Caribbean league and pay them less in the triple A, the double A, and stuff like that. Whereas you would have to pay an American player um, a million dollars 
or more to be in those uh, AAA, AA leagues and stuff like that. Latinos, Latino players in the Caribbean League pay them like twenty five, fifty thousand, maybe a little bit more now. I'm just talking about when it first started. So, you know, uh, it, it was a lot of ramblings about that from black players, but they couldn't say nothing about it while they were putting all the black players out of baseball. Um, I think his name was. I forget his name. Something Tory. Oh, I forget his name. He was definitely a outfielder. He said something about this. Black players being exiled out of baseball. Major League Baseball. So, I'm going to get to my point. But to me, if they were smart, they would have kept the majority of the black players, uh, American black players, and put them with Latino players. You would have had a Super League. <laughs> I mean, because you got to remember, the black players are the ones that sold the MLB. They brought the drama, the soap opera, you know, Kirby Puckett being defiant. Uh, David Justice had a soap opera going on with Halle Berry. You had um, Daryl Strawberry, Doc Gooden getting caught with prostitutes, cocaine. I any drama is good drama. OK, we see that in, in, in all sports. OK, and the fact is. Nobody cares about somebody just shooting a basket or hitting a ball or throwing a ball. That's fine, but you got to have a soap opera behind it. You got to have drama. And these Latino players, they wasn't able to carry the MLB. So everybody left, right? You know, <laughs> Ken Griffey, I mean, Andre Dawson, all these great players are gone. All these great black players that carried the MLB for all these years gone, and you don't even know how you don't even know ninety nine percent of these Latinos the past twenty seasons, the, the twenty years. You don't even know the names. Maybe yeah, I say ninety nine percent of them. Great players, but they cannot sell the MLB in commercials, um, movies. Not get uh, getting in trouble. Remember, Latino players aren't going to get in trouble because guess what? They'll get deported. So they're here for a better life. So how this connects with the NBA is you saw how the MLB just to keep the MLB alive in the early 2000s. Um, they went to the steroid card. Steroids? What? Everybody was doing steroids, but they only try to pin it on a couple people especially Barry Bonds, okay? So that was the only way to keep baseball alive as far as ratings and people caring about baseball is through steroids. So you can look in the future because of what they have did to the NBA, get rid of all the American players. Ain't that funny though? Because when you look at it, they kind of did it the opposite, right? MLB... In the NBA, right, the MLB start getting rid of the majority of the American black players. Now, they kept some white players and they kept majority of the white players versus the black players and brought in the Latino players. So <laughs> if you look at the NBA, what did they do? They kept the black players and they put out the white American players. <laughs> wow. Wow. So either way, they're both they, they, they both eventually got put out because e even the white players in, in baseball today is real small. OK, they just didn't do it all together, put out all the black players and the white players out of MLB at the same time because they didn't want it to look too obvious. Now it, it, it's too obvious. So now even black American players are getting put out of the NBA and they have been for a minute by Canadian black players, African black players, European black players, Caribbean black players. So soon it will be the same as MLB. You won't have no black players in the NBA except for maybe like a handful. Okay. So to me, what they're going to do is, and I told you before, 
they're going to use LeBron James because it's already starting to ramp up, right? That's how they did in the MLB, right? You could hear about the steroid allegations way before, you know, the whole big Barry Bonds thing happened. It was more like Sammy Sosa and Jose Canseco and stuff like that before it really went to Barry Bonds and it blew up uh, when he retired. So the same thing going to happen to LeBron James. You can already hear it happening right now. But there's no firm evidence because that ain't what the real media, or should I call them the fake media, that ain't what they want right now, okay? They want to keep uh, basketball alive just with this soap opera right here with LeBron, no matter good or bad, whatever. This is what's keeping our league alive, even though he hasn't been the best player in their league for uh, quite some times, right? But... Us Americans, we like drama. We like a soap opera. We don't care about Joker being the best in basketball the last three years because it's not about just that. We like the soap opera. Okay, if it was if it was just about who was the best in the game, well, we we, we would just be like we would like baseball a lot. Okay, <laughs> it, but it's just not like that. Okay, we. We we went through the drama of Michael Jordan. He was he got beat down by the Pistons. Or well, his team did. What, for four years? Four straight years? Was it 88, 89, 90? Three, was it three years? Hold on. I, I guess it was the 88, 89, 90. So three straight years, he got beat down. That was the drama around the NBA, the bad boy Pistons. And then we go into the 90s. Um, Jordan winning his first championship. And then he won three straight. And then he retires. And that was a big drama. Okay, it wasn't just how great Michael Jordan was. No, he never was defiant, got in trouble, nothing like that. But just the whole soap opera is something big. Okay, if we look, say if Joker was a face the last three years of the NBA. Do, do you see any, where's the drama in that? There's nothing. Not because he's a white player, but where's the where, where's the drama? What happened to where we was like, where, where was the drama? Did he get beat down by like the bad boy Pistons or a team even close to that? That made it drama? What was the drama, the soap opera that we could talk about? Luka Doncic. What, what's the, or, or whoever. Joel Embiid. What's, what's the soap opera behind that? So. You know, it's always we have to have a soap opera to sell sports, people. It's just not about who's good. When LeBron made the decision, LeBron pooped in his pants two years in a row. That was drama. That was a soap opera. And then he goes to Miami. Another soap opera. It's always a soap opera. Something to talk about. So this is going to be the soap opera in the offseason right here. LeBron and his son. His son is straight trash. OK, if I'm not wrong, I thought he declared for the draft. If I'm wrong, go ahead and tell me. But that's what I thought. He said he declared for the draft. And we all know you can't go back. And I don't know what he declared for the draft already for. It's not even the end of the college season. So maybe I must have heard something wrong. Let me know. But let's do this video anyways, just in case I'm right. But that that's that's what I saw. Um. So they're going to hold the whole entire NBA hostage this year. Okay, LeBron, he's not a good player no more. Um, if he took AD off that team, where would he be? He, he won't be that good, right? Just g give him, uh, l l let's see, give him what John Morant has. J John Morant can make the playoffs and be like a number five seed easily right easily with the team he's got um so Bronny, who is trash is going to come into the nba draft and we already know what lebron said he's got to play with Bronny. so all these teams are going to be out here they're going to be trying to get Bronny to get lebron because they don't care if they win they care about revenue Right? Did they say somebody said something about the the Lakers have the the franchise is worth a billion dollars more since LeBron?
has been there. Right? Not because they're winning. It's because the drama. Okay, and, and you're going to have to pay a lot of money for tickets, wherever he goes, parking, popcorn, hot dogs, liquor, merch, all this stuff. Just because this one loser keeps the NBA tick talking. Okay, once this loser leaves the NBA, it's over. The NBA is going to tank, okay? Because all the, the NBA just cared about their revenue the past, I don't know, 10 years. Right? So they haven't been promoting nobody else. And plus, they've been pumping in all these international players that can't sell the game. They already know this. That's why they're holding on to LeBron James. That's why he is demanding a new contract in the offseason or he's going to opt out. He needs $60 million a year from the Lakers, right? Does he deserve that as a player? Nope. Does he deserve that as revenue? Yes. That's the only thing that's keeping this NBA afloat. They don't got rid of all the good American players. And to me, I'm not trying to mess up your dreams, but if you're American, you might as well stop playing basketball. It's over. It's over. You can even go watch some of these college. Go go watch college basketball. It's full of international players. Right? Canada, Europe. Um, the Canadians are strong. You you'll be surprised how many Canadians are in college basketball or in the NBA that look like black American players. They're Canadian. So I'm not trying to spoil nobody's dream, but black Americans, you're already done in baseball. You're going to be done in um, basketball pretty soon. And I'm going to be truthful with you. They're starting to bring in a lot of Africans and a lot of um, Caribbean and West Indian um, players into the NFL. And if you watch during the um, Super Bowl halftime, they promoted a whole, what was it? Man, it must have been like five-minute commercial. If you think five minutes ain't long, it's pretty long when you're watching the commercial. It must have been five minutes. It was a whole thing, NFL Africa, okay? NFL Africa. So the the the, the <laughs> it, it's pretty much over for American players. Okay, we don't seen that in baseball. Basketball is 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 almost to that point. They're gonna be doing that in NFL and stuff like that. Not only because the, it look, it's not because these players are better than American players. It's something else. It's cheaper labor. Okay, I won't get into it because people are gonna say, "Oh, you you conspiracy dude." So a lot of things you got to use common sense, okay? The world is ran off of dummies. A lot of people out here are dumb. They can't figure out a lot of stuff or most things unless they're told that's the truth. <laughs> unless they are told that's the truth by the TV because they trust what the TV has told them. And that's why this world is so messed up, okay? Um, Yeah. So the NBA will go down the drain pretty soon. Um, that's just how it is. Every, everything done went down the drain in the United States. Movies, music, um, sports, sitcoms, just about everything done went down the drain in the in, in America, United States, whatever you want to call it. It done went down the drain. And I, I think that happened about 2000, probably about twelve. 2012 is about when movies, music, sitcoms, uh, sports, everything start going down the drain. That's that's pretty much when everything start going down the drain. Okay, we 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 really accepted and we was really cheering on this whole notion that LeBron go to the finals eight years in a row. Okay, and it really showed how weak. Um, it, it, it really showed how weak the East was because he was going there and getting rolled up 
Okay. <laughs> it just showed how weak it was. I mean, if he if he would have went there and he would have won well, maybe half, it would have been better. But he went eight, what he went eight times and he won three times, right? Yeah. Two in Miami, one with the Cavs. So he won three times in eight straight trips. I mean, that's got to make a lot of NBA fans just back then want to leave the NBA. Because not only was this guy taunting fans, not only was he building super teams, he was going to the finals and getting curb stomped. Okay? While building super teams. And you got to... You got to understand how bad that was in networks like Fox and ESPN. They keep saying this guy is a number one or number two player of all time. When what this guy did was just horrible. This guy won two back to back MVPs in 09 and 2010. He choked in both of those playoff series as a number one seed on top of that. Now, for the LeBron fans, we don't consider losing choking. No, we don't do that. Everybody loses. That, that'd be stupid to say, oh, yeah, he, he choked because he lost. No, we talk about percentages, free throw percentage, shooting percentages, um, turnovers per game. What else? Maybe three-point percentage. If you're shooting a lot. If you shoot like four or more, you're actually trying to shoot threes. If you're, if you're attempting one or less than one, you're not even trying. So, and then you lose, we call that choking. It doesn't matter if you were scoring 30 a game or 28 a game. If you're shooting in the 30s or you're shooting 41% or you're um, shooting from the line 69%, 71%, turning the ball over three to five times a game, this is a choke job. Okay, you're losing a, a three and four seed teams. It's a choke job. Okay? That's what we consider choking. And then he goes to Miami. Okay? He just won back-to-back -back MVPs, and he goes plays with an MVP winner and. <laughs> he plays with Wade, who won an MVP, okay? <clears throat> Did Pippen win an MVP? Did Pippen even lead a team to the finals? Was Pippen the franchise player? And then he goes and gets Bosch. Was Bosch a franchise number one player? Yes. Was Pippen ever a number one franchise player? No. Not even when he left the Bulls, Pippen. He could not be a number one player. He was never even a top 10 player in the 90s. No, 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 stop it. We're talking about Shaq, Hakeem, David Robinson, <laughs> Patrick Ewing, uh, Stockton, Malone, whoo, Clyde Drexler, did I say Barkley? I mean, we, we can go down the list. Um, Alonzo Mourning, we, we can go to 10 teams where they had a franchise number one player and Scottie Pippen wasn't that dude. Okay, and I know a lot of people, oh, well, he was top 75 player. He was on the dream team. Look, <laughs> Pippen was good, but Michael Jordan got him on that dream team. Look at that dream team. Do you see... The only guy that was a number, maybe a number two player was Stockton and Malone. Probably Stockton. But guess what? Stockton is a better player than Scottie Pippen. Okay, I don't, I don't think, let, let me just be quiet. But that's what LeBron did, right? This is what LeBron did. And then the next year, no, 2013, two years later, he went and got Ray Allen. Ray Allen, he was a franchise player at one time, and he's a top 75 player. So, 
you can't take this guy serious and even put this guy as the number one or number two greatest player of all time. Look, Magic Johnson never ran around um, and started a super team. Yes, he had Kareem, but this was naturally, this came from the, um, this came from the draft. Worthy came from the draft. How come LeBron can't get draft picks and make them better? Right? Um, we let's don't talk about Curry. Curry's not in the top five, right? No player that I know that's in the top five ran away, ran around getting number one franchise players from other teams. Never heard of that. Never heard the Kyrie number one pick franchise player before LeBron came back. And we know Love was. We know AD was. How this guy is even like this. This is what sells the NBA lies. It can't sell based on this play. I know we got to have some drama. Like I said, I know we got to have a soap popper, but the, the lie is the biggest soap popper ever. Because if you put, um, if you just said Kareem versus Jordan, that's a better comparison. It's the ultimate comparison. What, what, what does LeBron have on Kareem? Nothing. Kareem smokes him in statistical titles, MVPs, championships, everything. Right? Oh, you only got two, two, two finals MVPs. Inca Dollar has a final is in finals MVP, right? Um, and they won that, shut down LeBron. Um, Tony Parker, I think he has a finals MVP. Outplayed LeBron. Um, who else was this? Kevin Durant has two finals MVPs. Outplayed LeBron. So. Come on now. Big James, big game James, James Worthy didn't deserve that finals MVP, but he had a big game, right? <laughs> I mean, so it does mean something, but it's not bigger than regular season MVPs. It's only seven games. And you can win it just playing a, a couple good games, right? You have role players winning MVP by shutting down LeBron or outplaying LeBron, right? And we talking about MVPs? You talking about Kareem can't qualify because he doesn't have four MVPs like LeBron? Man, get out of here. LeBron has two MVPs on a super team, right? He left after winning two MVPs after melting down in the, in, in the, in the playoffs and won two more MVPs with an MVP winner in a top 10 player from another team how do you win two mvps like that wow <laughs> so when they say this guy was the chosen one he was really the chosen one right sh sh shouldn't kobe be winning mvp right when he's winning championships Okay, because I, I thought the MVP don't come out until the end of the season, right? Or maybe in the finals or something like that. So they already knew Kobe had a better season than LeBron in 2009 and 2010. When did Kobe win that MVP? What, what was Kobe, Kobe win that? Was it 2008? I think it was 2008. Kobe should have won those MVPs, right? Um. So let me get off of here. But this is what's going to happen in the offseason. Like I said, they're going to, Bronny and LeBron, they're going to hold the league hostage. That's why LeBron said he's already going to opt out if he doesn't get $60 million a year. And he already said he wanted to play with his son. So, like I said, boom, bam, boom. They both set it up. If Le LeBron is going to say, you you better pick um, LA, you better pick Bronny, or I'm not going to... Uh, even sign that uh, contract extension, which means they're probably going to do some underhanded stuff to the rest of the league 
hey, don't 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 um pick Bronny. We we need to get him. You know, because somebody could get Bronny early if they wanted to, right? And and, and they're gonna put some money in somebody's pocket, and nobody's gonna pick Bronny, right? Except for the Lakers. If LeBron signs that contract, but if LeBron don't sign that contract and the Lakers don't want him back, guess what? Anybody can get Bronny, and he he's gonna go anywhere, really. And a lot of people's gonna think they don't want LeBron. Yeah, a lot of teams will want LeBron because it's big revenue um, for the team. It ain't got nothing to do with winning. This NBA has nothing to do with winning no more. <laughs> nothing unless it's one guy, LeBron. Okay, that's the only time it means anything. Maybe the Warriors, but you guys tell me what you think. And you know, I won't be surprised if, if, if the Spurs get him. Remember. The Spurs have a chance to get Bronny. They might get Bronny just to get LeBron. Okay, so you guys watch out.